Hi, here we are with another clever walk. All right, so we always start off with walking, and you can always come back to just walking in place. So you, can, you can't go wrong with that. If things get a little too crazy, which I don't think they will, because I'm not that coordinated, um, or if, uh, if you just get tired, then you can just always come back to walking in place. Do what feels good for you. All right, we're gonna start off with an image, and this is details to remember. So look at this image and choose details to remember. So the idea is to try and increase how many details you can remember over time. And so I would suggest like starting with three and then adjusting from there as you go. So like today, try and do three, or if you've done that before, and you know you're at two, then do two, or you know, if you, if you did three last time, try and do four, you know. So adjust for what you need. And this helps us exercise our memory muscles in our brain. It's not muscles really, but it helps us. Okay, so here's the image. What we're gonna do here is something a little different, and it is backwards spelling. So, and the challenge is to spell the word backwards. Okay, we'll start off with the easy ones. First word, tap. T A C. Dog. G O D. <laughs> Star Ship Love Peace, weird, okay, some of those you could just spell different ways because like peace, there's two different kinds of peace. So P-E-A-C-E -E or P-I-E-C-E. -E. Backwards, it'd be different. I chose weird because weird is one of the words that is most often misspelled. Okay. Skaters, if you're putting one leg behind you, and I just kind of do my arms like this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do some finger writing so just write with your finger. And I'm gonna read you, say the words for, I'm gonna say numbers. <laughs> and what I want you to do is write the numerals rather than the words. So you're writing down the numerals. Okay, first one, three. Or, let's see. That's, it would have been backwards to you guys, so I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to have you do them. Okay, the next one is 56. Okay, 7,200. I think I will do Sixty-seven thousand four hundred eleven. Okay. Eight hundred thousand nine hundred seventy-two. It 
it, it is it's a little harder than you think I, it's harder than i thought because you're having your brain is hearing the words and then you have to um like translate it into the numbers and but but you're adding in the uh the kinesthetic moves of it too so i like it so good for your good for our brains what this is all about okay i have one more and this one's super hard i think five million two hundred forty six thousand eight hundred ninety three Okay, I'm going to have to do that slower. Maybe some of you guys could do it right away. I don't know. 5,246,893. Okay. Okay, our next move is side to side. So for side to side, we can get down low. It's harder. If you get down low, but you can also just stand up tall and that's fine too. Cause this is a different, like this is different body movement than when we're walking forward. So we don't use these muscles that often. So even if you don't feel you can get down low, it's okay. Okay. So now we're going to do more finger drawing. <laughs> so draw in the air with your finger and draw the weather outside. Picture of what it looks like outside. Okay. Uh, now give it a title and write that. I'm calling mine cloudy trees. <laughs> Now switch hands and you're going to draw it again, but with your other hand. Okay. okay. Now add some details to it. Okay. Now do you want a new title? I can't think of another one, but I do want a new one. Trees in the clouds. Oh, this is much harder to write. Okay. So we... Now, also, I want you to sign your name with your other hand, the hand that you don't usually write with. All right, so we had a lot of things going on there. So first we're doing our side to side. Then we're just drawing and getting the kinesthetic in with our brain also. Then we were drawing a picture. We titled it. And then we also, we switched hands. So then that engaged other parts of our brain because we're not usually used to doing it drawing with our other hand. And then we had to come up with a different title. So, and then sign your name. Okay, so share in the comments about that. I wanna hear what you think about that and your titles. Okay, now we're gonna, our next move is knees. So I like to reach over with one hand but reach your knee to your hand as much as possible. Of course, you have to put your arms down a little bit because I can't reach to my shoulder. Some people maybe can. I don't know. But, okay. This is fluency in creativity. So I'm going to ask you to name as many as possible. You can use your fingers to count things about Thanksgiving. We're going to have one minute.
Okay, how many did you get? Share in the comments. And if you've got some really, really creative ones, then share those too. Okay. All right, now we're gonna bring it back. And these are heel digs. So you're just putting your heel out in front. You can take a deep breath in. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is just to listen to your heart for a quiet moment. Okay, you did it. Give yourself a high five. And go back or come back tomorrow and do another clever walk or later today if you want to. But if you like this, then please like it, do all the things, share it, hit the subscribe button, but share it with other people because I want to make an impact and help everybody be healthy and fit for long lives. Have a whole, your whole self well into the future. So that's what this is about. And, and please do share your comments because we're better together. And I, it makes me feel awesome to see if people are commenting. So, Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.